I wish I bought a yearbook this year. Same. I don't even know where I'm supposed to get one. I don't know how much they cost either. You guys didn't get your yearbooks yet? They're in Miss Whalen's room and they're only $65 and they're running out fast so you better hurry. Is it even worth it? Of course it's worth it. How are you supposed to remember all this good stuff when you're old and wrinkly? Get, get your yearbook now. now. Yeah. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, students and staff. On behalf of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education, and the junior, senior high school faculty and staff, we welcome you to, to this morning's uh, yearbook dedication ceremony. Um, at this time, I'm gonna ask everybody to sign off the phones, put them away, and give your attention to their screens. Uh, the yearbook staff works hard each year to develop a document that chronicles student life from year to year. It is my honor to report that once again, the yearbook staff has created an amazing yearbook that all of us should be proud of. In the year of the pandemic, they have come up with a great theme, one that, is a, one that is a sign of the times. I'm happy to report that for the second time, they have earned the Program of Excellence Award, awarded to 650 schools out of 15,000. So at this time, I'd like to congratulate Mrs. Whalen, Mrs. Brennan, and the yearbook staff on an amazing job. I'd also like to introduce Mrs. Whalen to the podium. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Whalen. I'm delighted to be here today to reveal the 2021 Canastota High School Yearbook. The yearbook begins with the spring of 2020 and I don't have to remind you what a year it's been. We finished the last yearbook the day we got sent home last year, so the story this year begins with how the pandemic affected us last spring. Our book is a seasonal book and it is, it is, it is a book like no other. For better or worse, this is a year that we will all never forget. We had 10 journalism students this year create this book with us. For the first time ever, the yearbook staff created a book without ever being in the same room. With all of the safety precautions this year, we had to be creative with how we told the story. We had to rely on the student body to send in photos. We couldn't be within six feet of people. The staff were only in the, er, yeah, the yearbook staff are only in the building two days a week, if at all, and somehow they were still able to tell the story of the past year. I am so proud of what they did in the craziest of circumstances. My favorite part of being a yearbook advisor is coming up with a theme. It's always my greatest joy to stand up here every June and reveal this theme. This year, the yearbook has been inspired by Netflix. Who didn't spend extra time binge watching shows over the past year? Netflix was a great theme for this book, and I hope you enjoy how we integrated it through the book. Uh, Will You Watch Again was a theme we all agreed on, and we were really excited about it. Here is a glimpse of the amazing cover. Before I continue, though, I would like to introduce our talented journalism staff. Bailey, our veteran journalist, Agater. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, Master of Dividers, Dansby. <laughs> Bailey, the Perfectionist, Dockstater. <laughs> Caitlin, Willing to Help, Evans. <laughs> Kendra, Layout Queen, Evans. Kyle, our musical connection, Evans. Jada, creative thinker, Mills. Amber, stealthy journalist, Noble. T, 
Taylor, Sales Queen Stevens. Laura, Quiet Dedication Supa. This is the staff who created Watch It Again. Working in cohort one, cohort two, and as fully remote students, the staff had to be flexible through all the changes this year, and these students rose to the challenge. They couldn't go to businesses to sell ads, so we had to find creative ways to reach out. They couldn't go to games to take photos. They either didn't exist or spectators were limited. They couldn't get all the students in the book because some students never set foot in the building. But I'm here to tell you that they tried. They tried reaching out to those remote students. They tried using their resources to get photos at various events, and they creatively sold those ads to keep the price of the yearbook down. I am proud of these 10 students for stepping up in a year that would have been easy not to, and creating a book that will allow us all to remember this crazy year forever. We are family, and this group was a family, even if we've only been in a room together one time this whole school year. They deserve to be proud of the book that they created this year. Before I move on, I do want to say that while we strive for perfection, we worked as a team and on deadlines, so mistakes do get made. Please know we, we apologize for anything that you might find that might be short of perfect in this book. We tried to include everyone and everything here at CHS to the best of our ability. We put together a yearbook in the middle of a pandemic, and we are proud, despite any typos and misspellings, we really do apologize. At this time, I'd like to introduce Kendra Evans and Amelia Dansby to talk a bit about our class this year. This year's journalism class worked extremely hard to put together a wonderful yearbook despite the extra obstacles this year. Our team worked around the COVID-19 pandemic and didn't let it stop us from creating something great. Despite being a team, our class was never all in the same room at once, which made the whole process difficult at times. We wanted to give Canastota a theme that was both new and fun. Together we decided on Watch It Again. This year has been crazy and, has, and as hard as it has been, our staff tried to make the best of it. We worked to find fun ways to incorporate the, this theme and create a book that captures a year like no other. With the guidance of our advisors and the 10 of us that were able to create this amazing book, we hope that you enjoy watching the 2020-2021 school year again. Yearbook staff would like to say a huge thank you to all the students, teachers, and staff for cooperating with us as we worked on this year's book. We'd also like to thank the businesses, parents, and teachers that purchased the ads. We'd especially like to thank Chris Milks, who allowed us to use his drone for our class of 2021 picture and took his own time to help us get those awesome shots. Another shout out to Mr. Kennedy, who helped tremendously in taking pictures for our team when students were working remotely. We'd like to thank the English teachers for helping facilitate our Would You Rather surveys. Finally, we'd like to thank Mrs. Dunn for taking sports photos for us when spectators were limited. Our yearbook is a community effort and we appreciate everyone's support. This year has been an incre incredible experience for everyone. A huge thank you to Ms. Whalen for advocating how important our senior year is. The yearbook holds a special place in our hearts and so does Ms. Whalen. Her hard work and dedication to her students in her classroom have made a true impact. I would have never thought of joining journalism if it wasn't for having Ms. Whalen in previous years. She makes her classroom a home for students. The environment she plays a huge role in is so welcoming and full of light. Ms. Whalen spends so much of her personal time to critique and improve the yearbook. She has never doubted the yearbook and especially with the years she has had to work through with COVID. Getting pictures and meetings together surely was not easy, but who made it possible? Ms. Whalen did. Her heart is so big and everyone loves you. Congrats on producing another great yearbook. The senior class will dearly miss you. And to the younger kids, join anything you can with Ms. Whalen because she is truly amazing. Ms. Brennan, I'm sure I can speak on behalf of the entire journalism class and even Ms. Whalen when I say that everything you have done this year has been immensely appreciated. Even though, our, even though this year has been strange and different, you couldn't be in the classroom with us for the first half of the year, you did everything in your power to help as much as possible from afar. 
Being able to keep track of the financial things helped us well and have full attention on us and it never felt like we were on our own. We know that handling the financial end of the yearbook is no small undertaking and we appreciate that you stepped up to do it this year. Thank you. We want to thank our Dustin's rep, Laura Torella, for everything she has done to help us make this 2021 yearbook. This yearbook would not have been possible without your help. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Hi, everyone. My name is Laura Tortorella, and I work with Jasons. Uh, my job is to print the yearbook for the school and be there to help in any way I can during the year. I'm sure many of you have heard me say this before, but making a yearbook takes an incredible amount of work, time, and dedication. It takes a strong leader, a team of students, and an entire year year's worth of work to put a yearbook together. My job allows me to see all the time, all the hard work that goes into making a yearbook. But this past school year made this process so much more challenging. Between major school events being canceled, no students in school, sports seasons being delayed, classes going online, and masks covering faces and social distancing, a full school year like we've never seen before. I have to say this year I saw more yearbook staffs and advisors struggle to get the job done. Because of all these challenges schools face. With all the challenges though, the Canastota yearbook staff led by two amazing teachers pulled together truly an incredible book. Truly one of the best I've seen this year. They, were, they weren't even deterred by all the challenges. They stepped up to the plate and documented this very historic year. Not only did they make a beautiful school book for their school community, to look back on and remember these moments for this year. They were honored yet again and earned the National Yearbook Program of Excellence Award. Out of over 15,000 schools across the country, they were one of 650 to achieve this recognition. It's such an honor to work with you guys. You're an incredible team and I'm so proud of you. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. This year, the Canastota Yearbook staff has decided to dedicate this yearbook to Rick Stevens. Mr. Stevens has been fully involved with advancing the school's music program by donating some sort of instrument every year in honor of his late son, Eric Stevens. One of the most known instruments he donated was the grand piano in the auditorium. Not only has Rick helped out to keep the music program alive, but he also brings the community smiles and joy every summer with his ice cream parlor in the town by the name of Zems. He has given several student jobs for the summer that work with their schedules, and he is at almost every community event handing out ice cream with a smile on his face while doing it. Rick is always willing to help. This past year, he helped by donating snacks to the teachers to make the them smile. For the class of 2020 last June, he donated both balloons and ice cream to hand out at the senior drive through event. Rick has always bought a full page ad for various fundraisers, whether it be for a yearbook, for the annual music production, or for a drama club production. He always has an ice cream cart at the community celebration event every March, and he has never once done it without a smile on his face. He's a good man and loves to help out in any aspects that he can to make our school a better place. It's with gratitude and respect that we dedicate this yearbook to Rick Stevens. Uh, some advice on what to do, what not to do, but I guess this is like, I couldn't figure out. I walked in, my wife and the grandkids and Zach and everybody was walking up. I says, is this a coincidence or what's going on? But, you know, I, I was just really surprised. None of this, none of this is going to be what all of this is. I got my wife is the, she's the backbone of my kids, my grandbabies, the, they're my backbone. And what we do, what we do as a family, we do from our heart. We do it with sincerity. We don't do it for any, we have no hidden agenda. We, we love this community. We love this school. We are, I graduated here, my wife, my kids, my grandkids are here at this school. This is an awesome school and it's an awesome staff. And we always said anything we can do, anything we can do for this school, um, we want to do it. And we want to make sure that, of course, Eric's name lives on forever and we want him to be a big part of this. But, um, we want it. We want to continue to do what we did, and it's, an, it's a real honor that that you chose us as the um, the dedicate the yearbook to. And it's I don't know what to say. I came prepared to talk about entrepreneurship, and, and, and this happened. So you guys are awesome. This is an awesome place, and you guys work really, really hard on that yearbook. And I see. 
every year we try to have our graduating seniors, our SEMS girls, we have pictures of them. I don't even know if I got any graduating this year, do we, Megan? We don't have any graduating. All of them are, and every one of the girls are special. So, um, but again, thank you guys so much. This is this is quite an honor, and and uh, I'll have to know I got to buy. I'll have to buy a yearbook this year, not just advertising. I want to have a buy a yearbook, and hopefully everybody will sign it. Everybody will sign it for us. So, but again, this is awesome. You guys are awesome, and. and I got a beautiful family. We're surrounded by beautiful people, and that's what you want your goal in life to be. My father always told me, he says, if you die with this many friends, I'm this many friends, you've lived a good life. I'm a million times this. We're a million times this, and and it's, it's, this is great. So thank you guys all so much, and, and anything we can do for you, we're still there. We're here. So thank you. The yearbook this year is dedicated to a wonderful teacher, a great coach, and an amazing person and role model overall. This person was and still is looked up to by many kids. They're an outgoing and kind-hearted individual, constantly going out of their way to help their students. This teacher has always made our days better by staying after school or spending lunch periods helping us with our homework or personal problems, or by allowing us to read them from the snack drawer. From the catchy songs and goofy jad jokes, to their persistent selflessness and encouraging emails, this teacher has always proved to be trustworthy and someone you could let your guard down around. They love their job and students shamelessly, and it's apparent that they go out of their way for any one of us. No one has ever questioned their passion for teaching. The care they radiate ensures that anyone that enters their room is warmly welcomed. When the class was asked who we wanted to dedicate this yearbook to, the answer was obvious. The class of 2021 has had the opportunity to experience this person's teaching for two consecutive years as they moved up a grade with our class in middle school. The class of 2021 is honored to award this yearbook, year's yearbook to, uh, dedication to Mr. Stephen Luby. We would not want it any other way. Mr. Luby, thank you so much for everything. We will never forget you. And your page is... I have a page? Yeah. Is my face showing? Yeah. Oh, I got ladybug too. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you guys continue to uh, surprise me, not surprise me, uh, but obviously you guys have been, when I look back on my career, the, your, this bunch is a very special bunch to me um, because of the two years we had um, and, and just for the variety of characters in the group. And um, somebody asked me recently about what I think about. I think about that that lunch crew that we had, and, uh, and uh, I don't know. I do love what I do, and this uh, it's it's always nice to get recognized that you're enjoying yourself. Because sometimes in my particular position, uh, there's some frustrations that come along. So it's it's good to know that despite those moments, um, you guys uh, that you know that I'm thought of for good reasons. Um, so thank you very much. This is really special. I appreciate it. Zach and Mrs. Coppola, we appreciate everything that you have done for us over the years. We wish them the best of luck beyond Canastota. Starting Monday, June 7th, you can pick up your yearbooks in Miss Wallen's room in 158 and or Miss Brennan's room in room 148. Seniors can get them following the live stream video in the cafeteria. Attention class of 2022. Make sure you contact your photographers for your senior photo sessions. You will need a baby photo, informal photo, and formal photo for your senior section of the yearbook. These are due by November 5th to Ms. Whalen. Come find us if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your attention and your support. I hope I've made it really obvious how proud I am of this award-winning group of yearbook staff. We sincerely hope you love the yearbook this year. Upon conclusion of this video, members of the class of 2021 should report to the high school cafeteria. Thanks again.